Hello everybody, let's talk about runes. In this video we will go through the basics and attack runes. I will leave defense runes for some other day because I don't want this to get too long and I'm still doing some testing. Also, consider I'm a mage, but you can still find some useful information for other classes. So let's get to it. As our character level up, we will be able to open two pages for our runes. Initially, there are six slots in each page. Later on, we can unlock an extra space for a seventh rune that goes in the middle. But we need to complete certain enhanced requirements for the cloak. For instance, we need to have plus nine cloak in order to open the extra slot in page one. This can be done with the demon hunter clock, which is the one I have. For the extra rune on the second page, you will need to have a red cloak, which I don't. And as you can see, I don't have the rune space available. Other thing to consider is that we can only socket two copies of the same rune. And it might be obvious for most of you now, but we have two types of runes. Attack runes, which are the squares, and defense runes, the circles. We can go to gallery and see all the runes that we can find in the game. We have blue ones, purple, orange, and red but I'll be focusing mainly on orange and red. Purple can be useful while we transition towards stronger runes. And there are also shiny versions of orange and red runes. You can identify them with this star in the upper corner. They are stronger than the regular runes, but of course they are harder to craft harder to evolve and even harder to refine but we will look at them later so attack runes first we need to realize that all runes from the same color will give you the same basic stat all orange will give you plus 61 attack or plus 143 once you evolve it to the max level, which is 15. All reds will give you 123, all shiny orange 102, and all shiny reds 163. In addition to that, every rune has a set of possible bonus stats which makes them suitable for different classes. Let's take Vesemir, for instance. If you check the list of the bonus stats, you can see that there is some options that will boost the damage of summoned units, which is the reason why they are suitable for Oracle, because of their skill to summon an angel. For a mage, we will be looking for Lithia and Ari, and, and they can be even more specific for a subclass. I would say that Lithia, considering that she boosts critical damage, she would be perfect for a Pyromage. And Ari, that has debuff damage boost, which means that your Aquamage will do even more damage with all their CC possibilities. Okay, but we don't need to get picky, not at the beginning, because ultimately we will have to work with what we get until we get what we really want. And there are plenty of options. For a mage, you could go for Shepherd, Solar King, Merlin King, and there are some runes that are suitable for all classes, like Tiger King and Lil White. On the reds, I already mentioned Lefia and Ari. On the shiny orange, 
the Storm Dragon King is suitable for all classes, Hasaki as well, and Hera for mages. And on the shiny reds, we have Alice for all classes, Dracula as well for all classes, and Snow Princess, suitable for a mage. Of course, it would take a lot of time to get a full set of shiny reds, but that's the name of the game. I mean, grinding takes patience and a bit of luck, especially if you're a free-to-play or a light spender. Now, let's talk about set abilities, a very important aspect of your runes. Depending on your rank and the resources at hand, you might not have enough to activate all set abilities for now, but it would be a good idea to start looking at them early on so you invest your resources in the right runes for your character. So how do set abilities work? Well, you need to evolve and refine your runes. The runes that I have uh, are already evolved to 15, which is the max. And remember that the more you evolve, the lower are the chances to reach the next level. So sometimes you fail the evolution and you go back to 12 or to 9, which can be a pain. So good luck with that. Once you reach 15, you can, you can start focusing on the refining. For a refining, we need, again, more rune essence and rune spirit. When you refine, you get new stats and the possibility to find a set ability, but not necessarily the one you're looking for. Each rune has the possibility of two types of set ability. For instance, in the Elf Prince, you can get Bat or Swiftness. Or in the case of the Snow Princess, you can get Rampage or Demon Hunt. So the next question is, which set ability should I be looking for? There are four set abilities for attack runes. We have Demon Hunt, which will allow you to ignore around 15% of the enemy's magic defense. Of course, this is great for mages. We have Rampage that gives you 5% chance to trigger Rampage, will give you 100% crit rate for three seconds. And we also have Dragon Slay, which is the equivalent of the Demon Hunt, but for physical defense. This might work better for rogues or swordmen. Although we might have some pets that do physical damage, it will, it will not be beneficial for our skills and our basic attacks as mages. And we also have Assault which is, is a flat increase on the damage to all targets by 8%. So as a mage, I've been looking for Demon Hunt, which I already unlock, and I will go for Assault. This combination, these two, will increase your performance as a damage dealer. Now remember that you need to get to plus 15 in order to activate the set ability. If by any chance you happen to find a set ability before reaching 15, you will have to use Starlight Stones, which are these, in order to preserve the ability that you just found and keep evolving your rune. That's why I recommend to first reach 15 and then start the refinement. 
and you will be needing to save a lot of these rune spirits. For instance, on this Lithia, I refined it 74 times. You can check it below. On this Lithia, I refined it 22, which is pretty lucky actually. On my Snow Princess, I refined it 19 times, which is still a good number, but it's more costly to refine a shiny red. Regarding the materials needed for our rune evolutions and refinement, we can find them sometimes in the black market, rather for silver leaves or some gems. We can of course open rune chest in the workshop and the chest can come daily from the mining. We can do it on a sky tower, the days are it's available, not today. We can find some in events, loots and claim some sky medals. And in case of rune spirits, we can also find some rune spirits on the beast invasion, but only certain beast. Right now I'm working on Heroic Beast 2, that, that gives me rune spirits. Another option is that when you dismantle a rune that you are not going to need, you get rune souls, which is this. And when you get enough rune souls, you can buy a rune here. You should wait for the rune you're looking for because it's a very important investment. So right now I'm saving 650 for a shiny red once I get the one I'm looking for. So you see, it will take some time to improve your runes. But trust me, the payback, the payoff is so good. So good luck with that. And if you got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment and I'll reply as soon as I can. Bye bye.